Okay, okay, okay. I know what you're probably thinking. What in the world are these guys doing and who is that black dog? Well, before I answer those questions, first off, welcome back to the channel. Uh, the black dog, that's Gamby. Welcome him to the channel. You might be seeing him a little bit more often. And what we're doing is we're cutting a cow. Now, we were commissioned, as my friends across the pond would say, to cut this piece of wall art out. And this cow is just going to be cut out of 16 gauge. It's about three feet ish long and two feet ish tall. You can tell we're very uh, precise on those measurements. And we're uh, just going to get ready to cut it out. We invite you along to watch the process. So here we're back with Fusion 360 and we're creating the tool path for this cut and I'm setting up the uh, post-process work to create the g-code. Here we're just inputting the parameters telling the torch where to cut or how to cut, how high off the material, how high to raise it between moves and making the g-code. Now with the 4x8 sheet of 16 gauge loaded on the table we're zeroing out the torch to tell it where to start cutting. Now this cut isn't very intricate, but it does have a lot of cuts and every one of those dotted lines to make those little dots is a separate cut and to cut at this piece out took about 28 minutes on the machine we're using the fine cut consumables running 45 amps and 250 inches a minute You could see the machine working on some of those dotted lines right there. That's what took the most time. Every one of those was a pierce, a cut, a raise, move, a pierce, a cut, a raise, over and over and over again. But it's nothing for this machine, and that Hypertherm 45 XP, it's nothing for that. It just soldiered right along. And as it's finishing up this cut here, you can see how well it did and how easy it is just to pop this thing out. And there wasn't a whole lot of cleanup to do on it either. It was real nice. So back to the table with our magnetic clamp and we're just taking the angle grinder here with some 60 grit uh, disc and cleaning up the dross on the backside cleaning up the steel a little bit and we'll flip it over and do the same thing. We'll use the burnisher on this as well and the customer wanted a textured paint on it so what we ended up using was a, uh, a spray on truck bed coating that works really well especially for something like this where they're gonna hang it up outside near their barbecue so it's gonna get a lot of exposure.
So that burnisher leaves a really nice finish for paint. And this is the back side, and we didn't burnish that, so you'll be able to see the difference. And we just wipe it down with some acetone, blow it off, and then we'll spray it with the truck bed coating. We'll do this to both sides. that's gonna wrap this one up we don't have a finished shot of it installed because this one's getting shipped so once again thanks for watching